Buenos dias! And welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna share with you what I eat in a day keto version. So eventually I knew that I wanted to try keto, but I didn't wanna go from eating tortillas at almost every single meal to zero tortillas. Um, so what I did in the beginning was kind of wean myself off of, you know, the bread, the tortillas, the candy, etc., so that I could be a little more prepared and I wouldn't have as much of a withdrawal from the lack of carbs. Once I started the keto diet, I am by no means a professional. I'm still really learning the ropes and trying to figure out what is working best for me what makes me feel less hungry so to start off my day today i basically prepared myself a little bit of coffee i used my nespresso pod uh, the regular coffee pods and then i put a little heavy cream and then some sugar-free vanilla syrup into my frother just to kind of get me a little froth i don't know if you guys can see that but so today i'm really craving avocado toast and I found uh, little cauliflower thins at Trader Joe's and they are really, really good. I've tried them before for the avocado toast, which is actually what I bought them for. And they're super, super good. I mean, I, I tried making them on my own because they are a little pricey. I think for four of them, it's $4, um, but I haven't been successful yet. So I'm gonna keep trying if I do find a recipe that I really like and that I feel like is similar to the Trader Joe's cauliflower thins, um, then I'll definitely share it with you guys. But I'm gonna enjoy my coffee now and then I'll roll some clips of how I prepare my avocado toast. finished result here I have the cauliflower thin which I'll put a picture of it somewhere here because I didn't have the packaging anymore so we have a cauliflower thin I put about a quarter of an avocado I love uh, red pepper on my avocado toast I did a slice of bacon and then a one egg do you have to put some kind of hot sauce on it? Just for a little more. Ooh, that's gonna be dangerous. Oh my gosh, this looks perfect. I'm so excited. My mouth is watering to have a bite of this delicious avocado toast. So I'm going to go ahead, finish my breakfast, and then I'll, guys, I'll see you guys for my next meal. Okay, so it's a little later in the day, and I'm ready for a snack, I guess you can say. Not necessarily a full-on meal. And how I know that I'm ready for a snack is that I'm heading to the fridge trying to see what's going on in there. That's how I know when I'm ready that I should just eat something, a snack um, or a meal just so that I don't get super, super hungry and then I'm eating like a whole cup or something, you know? So what I like to do for these little snackaroos are like the lettuce wraps. I don't know if you guys have seen those around, but so basically I have some romaine lettuce. I'm gonna take a couple leaves and then I'm gonna wash them. I do a little mayo. This is my favorite, mayonesa macormic. Uh, it's just bomb. We'll do a little ham and this is the food ham. Yeah, original food ham. I'll do some cheese. I'm finishing this one up. This is like my last slice. And of course, 
pickles. If you guys haven't tried these pickles, the Oh Snap, these pickles, they're so, so delicious. Um, you can really have them for a snack, I guess. They're just really, really crunchy and uh, I feel like they're just delicious. I don't like a sweet pickle and this is not sweet. It's just delicious. It's the perfect pickle. So let me rinse some of my lettuce and then we can kind of jump in and put everything together. Okay, so we have our little lettuce wrap here. I'm gonna show it to you. I was folding it. I'm gonna show you the little lettuce wrap that I put together. I was folding it wrong first. Um, so I guess trial and error, but Jimmy John's who? Look at this. This looks like a total unwitch. I think that's what they're called. Super delicious. So it's the end of the day guys and it's finally dinner time i we are having chorizo pastor or tacos today um i'm making some with lettuce so using the lettuce as my tortilla and i also attempted to make um cactus tortillas it didn't go quite as planned but <laughs> i'm gonna try them nonetheless and we'll see how they kind of stand up to the meat and stuff. Alrighty, so these are the finished taco result. So I made two of them lettuce tacos. So instead of a tortilla, I'm going to use some iceberg lettuce. And then here's my little uh, cactus tortilla, which is all broken. I'll be happy to leave a, I'll be happy to share a recipe once I actually figure it out. So for toppings, we have the basics, just cilantro, some red onion. We have some guacamole salsa. And these are all homemade that I made here at home. And then I have just like a, a tomato salsa. Our guacamole salsa is spicy and then the tomato is not. So this is our finished result. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are doing keto, starting keto, thinking of starting keto, please let me know in the comments below any recipes that you have that you recommend. Um, we're all, uh, you know, I'm kind of just starting here, so I'm just trying to figure it out as I go. If you guys want to continue to follow me on my weight loss journey to fit into my wedding dress for my 10 year anniversary, wedding pics make sure to subscribe down below turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video of mine and i'll see you guys in my next one bye